हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एनजी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी शेल कंसिडर न्यूमरिकल ऑप्टेन डायरेक्ट फॉर्म वन एंड डायरेक्ट फॉर्म टू फॉर द सिस्टम डिस्क्राइब बाय y of n is equal to minus 0.1 y of n minus 1 plus 0.2 y of n minus 2 plus 3 times x of n plus 3.6 times x of n minus 1 plus 0.6 times x of n minus 2 so how should i get how should i get the direct form 1 and direct form 2 so straight away we can start with the solution first uh, it is easier to get the direct form 1 structure straight away so let me consider sketching direct form 1 so let me just draw a straight line and then after this i'm supposed to draw one simple adder so i shall just draw an adder over here yes and uh, let me just copy this so that i need uh, two adders here at the beginning and i will have this adder at this place yes so once that is uh, done i will uh, join these two adders and i will extend this yes so one is the input x of n i would consider uh, sketching x of n here at the input we have x of n and at the output we have y of n so now i need to sketch this it is already there in the ready formula uh, ready way so that i can sketch it uh, quite simple so what should i do i need to get 3 times x of n so whatever i have now is x of n i should multiply this with the 3 so that i would get 3 times x of n so this is what i'm talking about then i need plus 3.6 times x of n minus 1 so how do i get x of n minus 1 for that i should get one delay element so let me call this as z to the power minus 1 which produces a delay if i substitute if i give x of n to this after this i am going to get x of n minus 1 is that correct yes after this i am going to get x of n minus 1 and that should get multiply with the scaling factor what is the scaling factor scaling factor if i see it is 3.6 so here i would multiply this with 3.6 is that fine then i got this now 3.6 times x of n minus 1 so now i need to get 0.6 times x of n minus 2 so how do i get x of n minus 2 uh, i should have another delay element so let me just uh, consider another delay element over here and uh, let me join these two lines yes after this i am going to get what x of n minus 2 so at this point i am going to get x of n minus 2 and that gets multiplied with what i would consider 0.6 times 0.6 times so what i need to do i need to add up all these things is that fine so i would consider one adder over here and let me consider another adder over here so that what i have to do i have to add up all these things uh this adder is not required actually because this signal needs to be added with the previous one so hence i can eliminate that adder so this is more than sufficient then i need to join these two points is that okay so let me consider let me draw the arrow marks quite perfect so this is what i have at the input side so what do i have at the input output side y of n y of n is equal to minus 0.1 times y of n minus 2 so how do i get y of n minus 2 again i have to consider one delay element so let me consider uh, this delay element again let me copy that and i would get one more one delay element here and i should get two of these because i need also y of n minus 2 so how do i get y of n minus 2 for that i should have another delay element so i have two delay elements so let me join these two things this is the first one 
and then here I have the second one after the first one what should I do that gets multiplied with the scaling factor minus 0.1 so let me consider that minus 0.1 here yes and let me just write that so that it is quite clear minus 0.1 so after the second delay element I need 0.2 times y of n minus 2 here I would get that so let me consider that point here so here I would call this as 0 0.2 so what should I what should I do now so I have to add all these things yes this is what I am considering now this I need to join these two I have to add up yes I am done now I just have to write the proper arrow marks so this is y of n equal to I would get this so this structure whatever I have drawn so far I would call this as direct form 1 structure correct so now I need to get direct form 2 structure so to obtain direct form 2 so let me consider let me write to obtain direct form 2 structure what should I do direct form 2 what I have to do now I have to consider Z transform I have to, I have to take the Z transform of the given equation so what is going to happen y of n if I take the Z transform that leads to y of Z which is equal to minus 0.1 y of n minus 1 that leads to Z to the power minus 1 y of Z similarly plus 0.2 times y of n minus 2 leads to z to the power minus 1 y of z then plus 3 times x of n so I would get 3 times x of z plus 3 points uh, 3.6 x of n minus 1 that leads to 3.6 z to the power minus 1 x of z hope you are getting me plus 0.6 times x of n minus 2 if I take the z transform that leads to z to the power minus 2 x of z so what should I do now I have to uh, regroup them I have to take uh, I have to group them y of z terms together and x of z terms together so if I do that I'm going to get y of z plus 0.1 times z to the power minus 1 y of z then minus 0.2 z to the power minus 1 y of z that is equal to so what is that equal to so here I have 3 times x of z plus 3.6 times z to the power minus 1 x of z plus now I have 0.6 z to the power minus 2 x of z so what should I do now here I would take y of z term out what I'm left with I'm left with 1 plus 0.1 z to the power minus 1 then I have minus 0.2 z to the power minus 1 uh, not minus 1 it is minus 2 I guess yes this must be minus 2 previously also I have written this as minus 1 it must be minus 2 so just be careful because it is y of n minus 2 that leads to z to the power minus 2 y of z yes with that correction we'll uh, proceed uh, further yes moving on further what I'm going to get in the RHS here also I'm going to take x of z out so here I'll be left with 3 times plus 3.6 z to the power minus 1 plus 0.6 z to the power minus 2 is that fine so ultimately what I'm going to get now so what I do now is I'm going to get the transfer function h of z what is h of z it is output y of z divided by x of z so let me rearrange that in in term like this so y of z is equal to I'm going to get 3 plus 3.6 z to the power uh, minus 1 plus point 6 z to the power minus 2 so that gets divided by 
so what I have in the denominator I have the terms 1 plus 0.1 z to the power minus 1 minus 0.2 z to the power minus 2 so is that okay so with that so now what is direct form 2 actually I will have the input x of n I will feed this to a block so let me consider a block here and that gets connected to another block so let me consider another block here and towards the end I will have the output y of n so what are these blocks that we need to understand so in between signal here I'm going to call this as v of n so this I'm going to call it as h1 of z and this I'm going to call it as h2 of z h1 of z is nothing but all pole system so let me write over here this is all pole system what is h2 of z this I'm going to call it as all zero system is that fine yes so now I need to rearrange that so now I need to get V of Z so let me write V of Z what is that signal equal to V of Z is equal to X of Z into H1 of Z is that okay X of Z into H1 of Z what is H1 of Z X of Z into it is pole system where does pole uh, where do pole exist poles exist in the denominator therefore I would get this as 1 that gets divided by 1 plus 0.1 z inverse minus 0.2 z to the power minus 2 this I'm going to call it as V of Z so I just have to cross multiply these two and then I have to uh, get the expression for V of the V of n is that okay so I said I'll get V of Z if I cross multiply V of Z plus 0.1 Z to the power minus 1 V of Z minus 0.2 Z to the power minus 2 V of Z that is equal to I'm going to get X of Z so now I have to take inverse Z transform so that I can get the expression for V of n which is equal to I just have to take everything to the right hand side I'm going to get minus 0.1 times V of n minus 1 are you getting this plus 0.2 times v of n minus 2 plus x of n is this fine so this is what I'm going to get similarly I need to get another set of expression so let me consider those set of expressions here sorry so just let me consider a straight line yes here I'm going to get another set of equations what are those another set of equations so those are the output y of z what is y of z y of z is equal to v of z into h2 of z what is h2 of z it is zero system all zero system therefore I need to consider v of z that gets multiplied with 3 plus 3.6 z inverse plus 0.6 z to the power minus 2 so I would get 3 times v of z plus 3.6 z to the power minus 1 v of z plus we have 0.6 z to the power minus 2 v of z so now I need to take inverse z transform so that I would get the expression for y of n which is equal to 3 times v of n plus 3.6 times v of n minus 1 plus 0.6 times v of n minus 2 so getting these equations are very important once we are done with these two equations I'm referring to this and this so I can draw I can sketch direct form 2 structure quite easily so this point I'm uh, going to call this as v of n so here I will have a straight line and I will have the adders 
so here I will have one adder and at this position I will have another adder so V of n so I will have an input I will have an input at here that I'm going to call it as uh, X of n and here I would have the signal straight away I'm call it as Y of n this I'm going to call it as X of n and this I'm going to call it as Y of n V of n is an intermediate signal and what is V of n? V of n is equal to minus 0.1 times V of n minus 1. V of n minus 1, how do I get that? For that I have to get one delay element. So this I am going to call it as z to the power minus 1 which is a delay element. Is that okay? So that I'm going to call it as delay element. So here I would get this. So at after this I'm going to get V of n minus 1. What should I do with V of n minus 1? That gets multiplied with minus 0.1. So here I would consider this signal and I said this gets multiplied with minus 0.1 and after this now I got this I want point 0.2 times V of n minus 2 how do I get V of n minus 2 that means I should have another delay element and now I am going to get after this V of n minus 2 what should I do now V of n minus 2 that gets multiplied with the point 0.2 are you there with me so I'm, I'm consider this as this gets multiplied with point 0.2 so what should I do later I have to add them all these things so that and let's just join back and this also over here so now I'm done I just have to write the proper arrow marks so this part I'm done so I need to get the expression for y of n y of n is equal to what is that 3 times v of n I have v of n here so that I'll multiply scale it up with 3 so that I would get 3 times v of n that must get added with uh, what it should get added up with 3.6 times V of n minus 1 V of n minus 1 I already have here so that I would take the signal then that I would multiply with what I want 3.6 similarly I want 0.6 times V of n minus 2 V of n minus 2 is already available so this I would multiply with the scaling factor what is the scaling factor that is 0 0.6 what should I do I have to add all these signals correct so I would consider an adder and I would join here these two things and then have the proper arrow mark and join these two signals so that I would get the final output y of 2 so this is structure I'm going to call it as y uh, direct form 2 if I compare direct form 2 with direct form 1 I have only two delay elements here and if I go up and check with direct form 1 I have four delay element that is the difference between direct form 1 and direct form 2 in direct form 2 we can actually reduce the number of delay elements so this is the final answer uh, sketching of direct form 1 and direct form 2 of this uh, numerical I have explained everything step by step I hope you people have understood if still you have any doubts please let me know them into the comment section and I'm happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching